8.4 proportionality theorem is essential question. What proportionality relationships exist in a triangle intersected by an angle bisector or by a line parallel to one of the sides? Uh, expected outcomes for your learning will be to uh, use the triangle proportionality theorem and its converse, also to use other proportionality theorems to solve problems. All right, we're going to start looking at what's called the proportionality theorem. Um, to do that, we're going to look at this example that says finding the length of a segment. Um, we want to find the length of this segment, r cubed. Now, the proportionality theorem um, hinges on the fact that um, this QS segment has to be parallel to this segment UT. Okay? If this segment is parallel to one of these legs, one of these sides, then I can set up a proportion um, like this. I can say that um, RQ, segment RQ over segment QU is equal to the length of RS over ST. Okay, which just means if I label this as X um, and I put in my values, I'll have X over 9 is equal to 4 over 6. Okay, and then we can do what we've been doing uh, using our cross products to solve. That would give us 6x is equal to 36. If I divide by 6 on both sides, that tells me that x is 6, which is our RQ, our segment. So the length of RQ is 6. Okay? So that's how we use the proportionality theorem. Again, these two segments have to be par parallel so that we can use the proportionality theorem. All right, um, for this example, we're going to use what's called the converse of the proportionality theorem, which says um, I'm not told that these two sides are, there are these two segments are parallel. I want to decide if they're parallel. So what I'm going to do is set up these proportions and um, determine if I have congruent segment or not congruent segments, but I have a proportionality. So I'm going to look at is the ratio basically of NS over SR. I'm going to ask is that equal to the ratio of NP over PQ. Okay. Are those two things congruent? So I'm um, using some math here. Obviously, 72 over 40. I'm asking, is that equal to 90 over 50? Okay. Um, I can reduce the 72 over 40 by factoring out, if I factor out an 8, I get um, 72 divided by 8 is 9, 40 divided by 8 is 5, if I reduce, and since these are both, since these are both uh, ending 0, I can factor out 10, and this comes out to 9 over 5. They are equal, so that tells me yes, um, segment PS is parallel to segment QR. Okay. Again, that was the converse of the proportionality theorem. If you're not told if these two segments are parallel, you can figure out if they are parallel by looking at the ratio of the opposite sides and seeing if they are equal, like we got here. Okay, the next proportionality theorem is called the three parallel lines theorem. And that simply says that if I have three parallel lines, like these, NOP, okay, then I can set up a proportion. Um, with the distances in between each of these lines. So if I wanted to find this distance here, and we could just call this distance, I'll um, we'll call this distance x right here. What I can do to figure this out is just set up proportions like we've been doing, um, where I can set 15 over 18 equal to 16 over x, and I can cross multiply this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and factor uh, 3 out of each of these, so that's going to give me 5, and this will give me 6 uh, to make the math easier in my head. Uh, 5 over 6 is equal to 16 over x. We cross multiply, that gives me 5x is equal to um, 96. Okay. Divide both sides by 5. So that tells me this length x is going to be equal to 96 over 5. Okay. But again, uh, these three lines have to be parallel for, in order for me to be able to set up my proportions um, this way.
And now we have what's called the triangle angle bisector theorem, uh, where it simply says if you have an angle bisector that kind of splits the triangle into two different pieces, but it splits it in such a way that you create these angle bisectors here, the angle QPR being congruent to this angle SPR, then you can set up a proportion to find the missing piece. In this case, we're looking for this um, section right here, this X right here, the segment RS. So what I can do is that I can take this segment, or I can take this problem, and I can write it as um, PQ over PS is congruent, or the ratio of PQ to PS is equal to the ratio of QR to RS. Okay, so um, the only little, little slight difference or complication in this is that they're giving me this entire length being 15, and this distance right here is X. So that means this segment QR, um, I'm going to have to write that as 15 minus X. Okay, Because the 15 is the whole length, I know this much. So this piece is going to be whatever X is, or 15 minus whatever X is, to get this small piece. So it's just 15 minus X. For now, we'll figure out what X is so we can find RS. Okay. Um, so to solve this, I'm going to write 7 over 13 is equal to 15 minus X over X. So cross multiplying here, we get 7X is equal to 13 times 15 minus X. We get that 7X is equal to 195 minus 13X, adding 13X to both sides gives me uh, 20x is equal 195. So that tells me x is going to be equal to 195 over 20. If I divide that, I get that x is 9.75 units, okay, which is my rs here. So rs is equal to 9.75.